Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today we're going to be touching on this particular mega scale. It is Art the Clown from the Terrifier movies. Now I will tell you this, there is in fact a total of two movies out right now. And there is a third one uh, in the process of coming out if it's not already out uh, in theaters. But I doubt they're going to release it in theaters. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but I heard that the third one, according to what I was told... A lot of people walked out like uh, a certain amount of time into the movie because it was too gory for them, which to me I find hard to believe because if you're a horror fan, those kind of things don't really affect you in, in a way unless you just truly are not a horror fan, okay? No offense, but the gore we all know is not technically real. I mean, it can be, don't get me wrong. Uh, but in most cases when you watch a movie, it's like, oh, that's, that's different. Like in the second movie, that was super gory, but it wasn't realistic enough to stand there and say, oh my God, that's disgusting. I mean, some people take it that way, but not me. You'll never see me do that, so. But anyway, that third movie I heard was, is over the top as compared to the second one. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that one coming out, and I will definitely check that one out. But anyway, this is a mega scale from my actual um, uh, Mezco figures. It's about 15 inches tall. And it has 11 points of articulation. And my dog is scratching at his cage right now. <laughs> He's being playful. But anyway, uh, it's got 11 points of articulation. What we're going to do is we're going to check out the box art. And then we're going to take it out of its box and then we're going to check it out. And then we're going to check out the actual sound effects. Each of these mega scales have sound effects. It's got a little voice box in the back and it shows um, quotes from the movies and stuff like that. So we'll be definitely checking that out. But in the meantime, let me tell you where I got this from. It is from Big Bad Toy Store. I get most of my toys from this company. All right, They're pretty reliable. Um, there are other toy companies out there that you can get your stuff cheaper. But... I noticed uh, these guys are, are, are quite reliable in the way they uh, ship and handle and everything. And nine times out of ten, you get your product. But every once in a while, something gets lost along the way. Like I had a few packages that didn't come to my doorstep. They went to somebody else's. But I end up getting them back, so it's not an issue. Uh, but nine times out of ten, they're pretty accurate when it comes to packaging them things. And they come in pretty decent condition. So and they got these big heavy boxes. So you can't go wrong. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to actually show you the box art. And then we're going to take the, the actual figure out of its box. Now as you can see, art's still in there. Okay. So what we're going to do is just... i got to tilt this on the side because, like I said, this thing is like 15 inches tall. And my camera, uh, the tripod, is not that tall. So I can't really do anything about that. I mean, I could. I can just switch it to my different tripod, but I don't want to do that. Now, before we get into all that, there is a warning on here. I didn't mention in my last video, uh, which I think it was... Was it the Pennywise? No, it's the Freddy Krueger one. That I have batteries that I bought from Amazon, and they're from a different company. You get a total of 50 of them, right? And a lot of times, they'll blow up on you. Uh, they're called button uh, batteries, and... They're suited for these particular kind of figures. There's three of them in the back. And they have a tendency to blow up. Well, this here is more of a warning to let you know that they have a tendency to blow up, okay? And you don't want them to be swallowed or anything like that because they're small. And that's the main reason why you see this particular warning on this uh, box here. Now, on the other Mezco figure boxes, I have not seen this particular warning. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh... I just noticed this here, but in my last video I did mention that um, if you get batteries from uh, Amazon or a different company, you want to be careful because they have a tendency to overcharge them and they will blow up on you. And you hear this loud pop and you want to make sure you're not in anywhere near it because if it does, it will hurt you, that's for sure. And probably do irreparable damage to you. But anyway, that's what this warning is about, so just know that. Okay, now here. Okay, that pretty much says mega scale figure with sound. Okay, these are in fact mega scales. Now, this right here is Damien Leone's Terrifier. It is Art the Clown, so just know that. All right, and turn it over here to the side here. All right, all right. 
Now, like I said, this thing is, you know, absolutely huge. So I'm going to have to show you this way. All right. Now, towards the top of this, it says Damien Leone's Terrifier. And here's the back of it. This is what she looks like. Let me pull it back if I can. So you get an idea. I'm going to pick the camera up a little bit so you can see it. All right. Put it back down. All right. Now, we're going to lift it up. And it says Mezco Toys here on the corner. And MDS, Mega Scale. Okay, well, Mega. All right. And here's the side of the eye box. As you can see, he looks pretty gory. I'm curious to see what he looks like. So what I'm going to do here, there is a button in the back here. That gives you like uh, two options to listen to two different sounds. I'm going to go ahead and let you hear the sounds before I actually switch it up and see what else they have. Let me just get into the position here. Let me find that switch. There we go. I think that's it. Right there. Are you ready, guys? No, that's not it. Hang on. We'll find the switch. Hang on. There it is. I think that's more of a chopping thing or a hacking thing with this saw blade, which I got a hacksaw. I think it's for this mega scale. You'll see it once I pull it out of this box. And that's cool right there. He's using that. All right, but anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the camera down. And I'm going to take it out of its box, and then we're going to ch check out the figure. And check out the other various sound, uh, sound effects that it has. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. And before we get into the actual figure, I want to show you the hacksaw that it comes with. And it's got a, it's a bloody variant uh, hacksaw. It's got blood on it. So let me show you what that looks like here. So you see what it looks like. Okay, it's pretty durable too for the most part, but you can snap it rather, rather easily. So be careful with that part. And it's got the little serrated edges on it, see it? And you can see all the blood on it. That's pretty cool. And we're going to put this in his hand. And eventually what I'll do is I'll put him on my stand with my other mega figures, mega scale figures, and reposition them. But that's what the hacksaw looks like. Okay, it's pretty thick too, so. So I know that. Yeah. Okay, let's get into the figure. There he is. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... Now, because he's tall, I'm going to have to pull him off to the side, okay? And I already got the uh, tripod up as high as I can go. Unless I reposition this and pull it up a little bit, like so. Right there. This way you can get a good look at his face and stuff. Alright, so let's look at him real quick. Okay, now as you can see he's got... Now this right here, just so you're aware of it, it's more like cloth material that he pulls over his head. It's like a mask, but it's an open face mask. And he does his own makeup and stuff. So just know that. And he got the hat up on the top here. Alright. Let me get this here so you can see the side of it. Alright, and as you can see the material towards the back here, it's, it's more like an open face mask, that's what it is, a, a tapestry or uh, cloth material that you pull over your head. You know his face, his eyes are really cool looking, they're a dark blue, okay, and his teeth, as you can see, He's a teethy thing, but they did a really good job on the coloring of his teeth. Okay. Art has become an extremely popular clown. He's not just in the Terrifier movies. I believe he's in All Hallows' Eve, too. He makes a special guest appearance in that movie, too. But he's become a popular clown. He's up there with Pennywise, but not as popular as Pennywise. Because that's a Stephen, a Stephen King thing. Alright, but anyway, let's just show you the rest of it. And then we're going to get into the sound effects. All right. It's a totally black and white scheme, which really is befitting for this clown outfit. Now you can see the hand right here. That's, that's where the hacksaw is going to go. All right. He's got these little buttons. Okay. And the, the material is a very fine material, like you see on most Mesco figures, except for my Pennywise from the 1990 uh, miniseries. That's made of like a, uh, a synthetic, almost like a silk type material. 
it's shiny or these are not so shiny and you can see the hands right here all right as you can see the coloration because he's been working <laughs> the gloves everything is cool about this all right these will pull up but I'm not gonna do that the articulation like I said is 11 points of articulation it moves in the shoulders okay as you can see not so much in the elbows but it does move in the wrists okay same rule applies to the other side okay all right. the head in itself is on a ball joint so you can move it down you can move it up move it to side to side like I said you can position this in any way they look really cool if you can get the right position all right. And he's got a pointy nose too, so. He's a killer clown, guys. Okay, the legs, they do move back and forth. The feet, they swing back and forth, okay. And like I said, most Mezco Mega Scales got these big feet, so you can stand them no problem. Alright, so enough about the looks of this. Let's get into the actual back of this. Now when you open this up, it does have a pull away part, as you can see right here, if I can get a hold of it, it's got like Velcro on it, alright, I just got to get a hold of it, okay, maybe, I... there is a part where you can actually pull it apart somewhere, alright, maybe not, I don't know. Well, let me just get it through the, uh, the material. Yeah, I can. Okay, good. So I definitely don't have to worry about that. I think this is more or less closed off. You probably could pull it apart, but I'm not going to make the attempt because I could tear it. But you can feel the switch and just switch it all the way up. So now we're going to get into the actual sound effects of Art the Clown. That's him using a hacksaw. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I think there's just four separate sound effects to it. Yeah, that's it. Huh? I'm going to end that right there, buddy. Switch it down one, hit the switch, and you know it's not working, so that's good, all right? You don't want to drain your battery, but like I said with the batteries and stuff, be careful what you get, okay? All right, so with that in mind, let's put the hacksaw in his hand. Okay, yeah, it's going to be a tight fit, so hang on, guys. Almost there. There it is. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now. Okay, we gotta turn his hand around. Put it up like so. His other hand down. And now I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, and you can actually position this any way you want. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like kind of like that. So it kind of looks like that. This is Art the Clown signing off. This is the Mega Scale version. If you guys ever want to get these things, in my opinion, they're worth it, but they're $105 to a Big Bad Toy Store. Okay? Remember this, Big Bad Toy Store. Okay? It's a good place to shop. They got a lot of toys, too. A bit pricey because of the shipping and handling, but it's not bad. I mean, you can rely on them, and you can get uh, the actual boxes. They're safe. And nine times out of ten, you don't get damage to them or anything because of the way they package them. Uh, but anyway, this is Art the Clown signing off. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh, hit the notification bell because I will be coming in with probably next week, hopefully. I do have Tiffany, the Mega Scale version of Tiffany the Doll. Uh, that was in... Um, uh, Chucky, uh, the Bride of Chucky. 
she's coming in next week hopefully and we're going to definitely check that one out next week but in the meantime you guys have yourselves a good day